Hey guys, welcome to Lara Tales. In today's video, we'll be looking at a very small tip about Laravel, which is recently added. Recently, a benchmark class has been added to Laravel by which we can easily test how long a code took to run. Suppose, let's say for example, there is some code in your application and it is taking a very long time to load. And you can just use this benchmark in order to test which part of the code took that long. Let me show you some example from the documentation as well. So first of all, let me do benchmark and it is illuminate support benchmark. We have a method dd over here. In the dd method, the first parameter is a closure. So I'll pass a single short closure this and let's say user find like this. Okay, I'm just doing user find or let's say first, but you can easily test anything over here, whatever the code inside your application and if i run this now it will show me exactly how much time did this code run so here in the narrative start test if i run over here then it is showing me this five millisecond by default it will only run one time this one but let's say you want to run this three times then it will actually run three times and give us the average number of seconds from those three so now if I run here, then it is giving me two millisecond because in the beginning it ran for the first time. So it took that much long. Now let me also show you one more thing. We can not only pass one item over here, but we can also pass array of closures. I'll say function and we can give the name of the scenario. Let's say scenario one and let me remove this end from here. So let's say user and all and then let's say count over here like this. I have seen in very beginners code like this they will get all the users and then they will do count which will actually do count on the array or on the PSP side but not on the database side so let's go over here and do scenario 2 and here instead of all count we'll just do count over here now we can see how much it will take and how much it will take in order to run but before that let me turn these into closures because we have to pass an array of closures over here and here also function and closure now let me come here in the browser and refresh then you can see here the first one took almost double than that of the second one which means that whenever doing count we have to always use this because it does count on the database level and it does count on the php level 